and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial so in this course we are going to be learning about pascal some of you might be coming along from my delphi course which is oop pascal if you just want to get into programming i still recommend that delphi course above just normal pascal because it kind of builds up on this concept but you don't need to know pascal out of the box to start with delphi but if you're just here to learn Pascal, then welcome. So in this tutorial, we'll be talking a little bit about what is Pascal and in running our first Pascal program. So Pascal itself is a general purpose, high level programming language. It was created in the early 1970s about, and it produces efficient and reliable programs, as I've just said, and can be compiled on a variety of computer platforms. So if you're on Windows or Linux or Mac, it can compile to those. It's also strongly typed, which means you, if something is a number, you have to specify it's a number. If something is a piece of text, you have to specify it's a piece of text. And later you can't change what you set it as. This is pretty normal for languages such as Pascal and C++, NIM, and so on. And whilst Pascal is primarily a functional programming language, meaning it does not have OOP, it does now actually support OOP. And that's kind of where Delphi also comes in a little bit. But we will also touch on OOP a little bit in this course. So let's create our first Pascal program. I'm going to create a new file and call it main.pass for Pascal. And here you could also go search for extensions to help with the dot pass extension. So here you'll see you get like Pascal language support. You can install that here. You get Omni Pascal for Delphi and FPC supports a free Pascal. Depends on what you want. You can go get whatever. I'm just selecting the first one and hoping it works. Now, when you create a Pascal program, you need to give that program a name. So we have to go program. And here you could give it a name. So my first program. Then this space here right underneath program is where you can put a bunch of things to tell Pascal what the program is going to use, such as importing modules like math, which you do in Python, you go import OS. Here is the same thing or in C++ when you have hashtag include IO stream. In our case, we could do something such as uses CRT. This allows us to use read key, which allows us to see the console when it displays an output. This is primarily useful if you're on Windows that has like a pop-up console, which is somewhat annoying to work with. And then finally, we can go here and just say begin and end. And this is a scope. So this scope is where your code will be going into. So this is a very basic Pascal program here. At the bare minimum, you'll need about three lines just for this little program. Not that that really matters. As for comments, comments is a piece of text and also take note of the semicolon here, it's actually important. In this case, there should not be a semicolon, there should be a dot, a period. Not a semicolon, but a period. This is actually very important. It did confuse me at the start. Now back to comments. A comment is a piece of code that will not be read by the computer. So when we go like this, these two curly braces is a block comment, meaning anything inside of these will not be read by the program. If we were to just do this, we'll get an error when we try and run this because this is not valid Pascal code. But this comment can allow me to explain what my code is going to do. You also have forward slashes, which will do one line. Then on the next line, it will be normal code. But the more forward slashes you use, the more lines it will take. So these is if you intend to do a bunch of lines after each other. And these is if you want to do maybe one or two lines, but you don't want to go full block mode. So you just comments, you can use them to kind of explain to yourself what this program does. Now this here is also a block comment. So this is the same as this, which is the same as 
almost the same as this. These two are block comments and this is a single line comment. These two, it doesn't matter which one you use. I mostly see people use these comments, but at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters which one you use. It's up to you which you think looks better or is easier to use. Now let's put some text on the screen. We can just go right line and take note, here we should add single quotes, not double quotes, but single quotes. And then, hello world. And then add a semicolon at the end of this line. Semicolons are very important inside of Pascal. And you'll notice a lot of times if you get an error, most likely you just forgot a semicolon. So really remember your semicolons. Now, if you're on Windows, I have no idea how to run any Pascal code. I would recommend you download Delphi. They, they have a free community edition. Just get that and then run Pascal from in there. If you're on Mac, you should probably have free Pascal as well. I don't know. And if you're on Linux, you can just go pacman s fpc, or I guess you can search for it and uh, we should find here fpc, free Pascal compiler. This is what we will be using to compile our Pascal. This is our compiler. Now, if you have a compiler installed, then on Windows, you could probably just press a run button and it will work. So if you have Dalphi, you can just press run and it should work. If you are on Linux or Mac, you can just go FPC for free Pascal compiler, main.pass, and this will compile your code. So here you see it's giving us a bunch of information. It just compiled the code. Here we have an object file. This you can use to kind of link files together and whatnot. It's not too important for our cases. It's more something a little bit more complex. Then we have main. Main is if we go dot slash main and this will run the program. If you are on Windows, you ha can just double click on this and it should run it. Then you'll get a little screen that just pops up and goes away. To keep it from going away, you could just put at the end of your program, read key. And this requires the CRT here. Without the CRT, this is not a valid command. Once you do that, it will wait for keyboard input. So we go like, if we compile it and then just run it. Then as you can see, it's now waiting for me to press a key. Once I press a key, it will exit the program. So if you have one of those consoles or terminals that just pops up and then goes away without you actually seeing what's happening, read key can help you prevent that. I don't need it because I have my own terminal here. So I can just use this. And take note that Pascal is not case sensitive, meaning this right line could also be right line like that. That's perfectly fine. This begin could be begin and this end could be end. This is perfectly fine. If I were to compile and run this code, it will compile and run it without an issue. So take note whether your things are capital case or lower case, it doesn't matter because in Pascal, they don't really care. And that is the basics of just getting into Pascal, what Pascal is and writing your first program in Pascal. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all again in the next Pascal tutorial.